Hey, my name is Jonathan. Thank you for joining me for another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Man, that just feels weird. What's up everyone? My name is Jonathan. Thank you for joining me for another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Make sure to click the like button before you leave. And if you like this content, make sure to subscribe. All of these videos will be available to download on Christmas day. And if you're returning, thank you for joining me once again. Make sure to click the like button. Everything about me is in the description below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter if that's your thing. Let's get started. And once you have Adobe Illustrator open, we are going to start with two circles. So you can hit L on your keyboard, or you can click and drag this rectangle tool if it's hidden behind there, and grab your ellipse tool. Click and drag holding shift. We're just going to center this up. Swap your colors around, and we're going to get rid of the stroke for now. I'm going to hit, uh, let's see, we're going to make this, let's make this 650. And then we're going to hit L on our keyboard again and create another one. And we're going to make this 450. Grab your selection tool by hitting V. Align both these circles. Uh, should be a pretty... Let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's go all the way down to 400-ish. Do something like that. Select both of these, go over to your Pathfinder panel and hit exclude. And while you already have it here, you can hit shift M, hold alt, and make sure to delete the center if there's anything there. Now we're gonna make this a little easier to see. We're gonna make it this bright yellow color, just for ease of being able to see. Now, once you have your pen tool selected, we're going to start by clicking on this left anchor here, and then we're gonna go over to somewhere here this is center, so we're gonna go, actually let's just do center. Let's see what center looks like. Do something like that. And we just want this to be a stroke and we're also going to change the stroke to black just to make it a lot easier to see. And we're going to continue doing this all the way around. Somewhere is around there. Somewhere here, right there. There. Here. And here. It's good enough. So I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool by hitting A and I'm going to move these just over the path just over, just a little bit over the path. Hit space bar so you can move around on the artboard. Move all of these really fast. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and liking this video or smashing it for the YouTube algorithm. I heard smashing it actually works better than just liking it, so feel free to smash it however you choose to accomplish that. Select all of these once you've moved them just over the lines a little bit. Click divide. Right click, ungroup, and now you should have four separate pieces. Just like that. Now we're gonna click on this one. We're gonna change it to like a blue, whoops. So now we need to make sure we have our fill selected. We're gonna change it to this pink color. We're gonna do this blue color. And we're gonna do like a red. Actually, we're gonna, that was pointless because I'm going to change all of these colors once we go to the gradient. So we're gonna do a yellow and a that color, whatever color that is. Select this one. I'm gonna do a gradient select. We'll do green and no uh, red. No. no blue. Yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna grab this one and for this one we will do. Let's see, what have we done? We've done, we have not done blue and 
Let's do blue and this pink. That should look okay. And V for your selection tool again, make sure and then click on this one. Oops. Now we're going to change this to red and do red and green. No, that just makes this weird orange color that I do not like. Red and yellow. Red and green. No. I guess we could do red and blue. Anyways, now that we've decided that, we're going to get our selection tool. We're going to change these gradients around, get them to look the way that we want them to look. I like that. I like this better. good grab this one this way probably this one I definitely like the blue touching that this one I go this way with the purple or the whatever color that is okay so now we need to make another swatch. Uh, so we're going to grab a rectangle tool and just make a rectangle over here. We're going to change this gradient to this black and white gradient. And now we're going to make this color also white. We're going to make this zero. And we're going to make this probably like 50% ish or so. Now we're going to oops, select this to G and change the gradient so it's something like that, give or take. Make sure none of these have strokes, none of these have strokes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pen tool and down here where it says anchor, we're gonna click there and then we're gonna click right about there and a little bit more. Something like so. Right about like so. Now we're gonna hit our selection tool, grab both of these pieces, and then hit Shift M. That brings up our art, our shape builder tool, and delete that. Now we'll hit I. We'll go over and select this gradient. I guess we should probably only select this piece first. Now hit I over and select the gradient. Something like so. Now we're gonna do that on all four of these corners here. We gotta go grab this anchor, then somewhere about here. Sort of like that, grab the selection tool, select both of these, shift M, hold alt, delete this exterior piece here. Grab just this, change the gradient on this piece. Something like so. Go over here, grab the pen tool. And not where it intersects, but where the anchor is. And then we're gonna go over here, Drag this over, something like so. Way back around, collection tool, grab. It's important that you only grab these two pieces or grabbing the shape builder tool will not work. If you grab both of these and then hit shift M and now you try, you're trying to delete this piece, you can't. So it is important that you only select the two pieces that you want to work with, which is these two pieces right here. So now you can hit shift M holding alt and that way it'll delete that from the rest of the shapes. Do something like so. Last piece, pen tool right down here somewhere. There's an anchor point. Right about here, 
Pick this up. I'm going to run out of space. I knew I was going to do that. Fix that in a second. Right about something like so. Grab your selection tool, select both, whoops, grab both these shapes, shift M, or you can click right here. It's right here. I'm just hitting shift M because it's easier. Hold Alt, click on the exterior piece there. Grab this piece, change the gradient to however you like. I like something like that. And that's it. That concludes today's video. Thank you again for joining me. It means so much. Hopefully you learned something. Make sure to click the like button before you leave. Subscribe for more content like this. And if you like this content, make sure to click on one of these links that will bring you to the next video. Thank you for joining me. God bless. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next one.